Hi there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and this is I believe part three of my Timu diamond painting uh, haul. So I have four canvases left and uh, one off the canvas item that I actually showed in one of my previous videos but I accidentally ordered it again so I figured I'd show you again. So let's get to it. And we'll start with the off the canvas item first. And this is the Nutcracker stickers that I got. I got a set previously, forgot that I had that set and ordered this second set. This set's gonna go to my twin sister, Judy. She has her own YouTube channel called Fire, All Fired Up Crafting Lounge here on YouTube. Uh, she is my twin sister, so I am going to make sure that she gets this set. 28 stickers, and they are a full drill. They're regular drills. They're not rhinestones, so this is going to go to Judy. So we'll set that aside. As a matter of fact, we'll set it over here. All right, now these last four paintings all have... A theme to them because they are all of a stained glass type of a theme. Uh, if if you've watched you know my previous videos, you'll see, especially my recent ones, you'll see that they have had some beautiful uh, stained glass canvases. And I even said that this is a pattern that I'm forming here. I'm going to you know I'm I'm collecting. Uh, most of this particular stained glass collection. So let's start with this first piece, this first canvas. It's really cute. And let me go ahead and open it with my scissors because this is one of those bags that may be difficult to open. There we go. Okay. And so we'll go ahead and this was a really cute painting and it does have that stained glass motif to it alright it has 17 colors it is a 30 by 30 it comes with your standard toolkit everything you need to put this beautiful painting together is right here all your tools your single placer pen pad of wax and your boat. All right. We'll take a quick gander at the colors. Some pretty muted colors. And then you have some brighter colors as well. Look at that juicy red. My goodness. There we go. So, this, friends, is a picture with three otters in it. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. There you go. So this is a picture with three otters in it. Isn't that cute? Now this picture actually does have a bit of a meaning behind it. The reason why I got it. Back when my wonderful mother-in-law was still alive she loved all things in nature except for snakes but uh, one day we took my mother-in-law she lived with us for a short time and we had taken her to the aquarium our local aquarium when we all lived in Florida and they had these otters that had been rescued and they lived at the aquarium and my mother-in-law just got such a charge out of these little otters and she um, she would refer to them as udders. Oh look at those udders! <laughs> so that always just gave Todd and I such a charge and so when I saw this picture I had to have it and it just reminds me of those wonderful times that we spent with my mother-in-law and <laughs> she would refer to otters as udders. <laughs> Now, friends, all of these items 
uh, will be listed in the description below. I will have links if they are available. If they are not available, then I will not have a description in the link below. There is a legend on the top left, lower right. They are all letter symbols. They are not in any type of order. You have the canvas number printed on the canvas and also on the drills. The DMC codes are not listed on the drills, however. Okay. It is a 30 by 30. Let's go ahead and... Well, that stick is very good. But isn't that cute? And it's got that stained glass motif to it. I am loving this series. I'm addicted to it. So that's the first one. We'll just show you those colors one more time. Beautiful blues and greens and reds natural colors the greens then you have that pop of color that berry color as well so those are nice colors again 17 colors the description and the price will be listed below in the description again if they are available so our next out of these four, I'm going in order of favorites from, and I don't want to say least favorite because I love them all, that's why I got them, but up to my all-time favorite. So we're going to open this one up now, and this also has that plastic that's a little more difficult to get into, but not too difficult that we can't cut through it with a scissor. And I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Any time that I get to spend with my friends, I put that in the win column. This is also a 30 by 30. You do get your standard toolkit. Excellent. Let's take a look at these drills. So you've got some pinks, some mauves, blush. I mean, you can tell. And then, of course, you got your, you know, neutral peaches, the greens. Really pretty color palette. And I can't wait for you to see this particular print. Look at that, my friends. Isn't that beautiful? I love those pink roses. And as you can tell, you've got a couple of the rosebuds up top. And then down here, you've got the rose that is partially opened. And then right here, you've got that beautiful rose that's in full bloom. The pinks and the mauves are just absolutely stunning. The green colors are so beautiful. And I like that almost like a plate design around it. Let's go ahead and relax this canvas just by pulling back the cellophane and that is an excellent stick but just by pulling back that cellophane that helps to relax it but I have my little trowel that I will use to take out any air bubbles from the cellophane landing back onto the sticky surface there we go 30 by 30, which is a great size. I like 30 by 30s and 30 by 40s. Those are my jams, to be honest with you. Here we go. And also the canvas number is listed as well as be it being listed on the packages of the drills as well. Perfect. All right. Just excellent. That is so pretty. I can't hardly wait to do this one. And let's take a look at these drills one more time. Those beautiful colors, the pinks, the wine colors. 17 colors in all. And then you get to the greens for the leaves. 
and the neutral colors for around the edges. It's really so pretty. So that's the second one. I'm not even bothering to roll these back up. They're going into my to-do stash. And then our next one has the stained glass theme plus another theme that you will you will recall when you see it you'll say ah yes that's a typical painting that Debbie would get so this is a 30 by 30 as well this has 18 colors standard toolkit thank you so much let's take a look at these drills real quick so we have some nice brownish red drills and some chocolate colored drills beautiful greens nice brown I like that brighter green that's probably 310 and then some beautiful bright reds it's a pretty color palette all right friends take a guess yes sir yes ma'am isn't he a beaut 30 by 30 legend on the top left lower right 18 colors all letter symbols but they are not in any particular order he is absolutely delicious. Look at him. Oh my stars. And he looks just as nice off camera as he does on the camera. So let's go ahead and relax this canvas. There we go. Oh, that stick is nice for sure. They didn't do a very good job placing this cellophane on here, though. But it'll work. Let's see. It is, the cellophane is a bit wrinkled. The cellophane itself. You know what? Let's go ahead and just give this a shot on this side. I may end up peeling the entire... piece of cellophane off and just putting it back on because I'm just not happy with the way it's all lined up which happened at the manufacturer it didn't have anything to do with Timu okay I mean that side came out much better there we go let's see if we can De wrinkle and decrinkle this one. That worked a bit better, yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead down here. Perfect, okay. So this is our third painting. Anybody who knows me knows I have a deep seated love affair with the Cardinal. And stained class is just so beautiful and classy. I just think it's amazing. And again, it looks just as good looking at it with the naked eye as it does looking at it through a camera lens. Let's take a look at those that drill field too. Let me peel this back. And I'll bring you forward. Not too bad. The G is just a little lighter than I would like it to be, but other than that, I'm not seeing any other issue with the canvas itself. It looks really, really good. The H and the S symbols are pretty light though, but I mean, it'll be okay. 
other than that, man, what a beautiful canvas. Okay. Excellent. We'll pull you on back. There we go. And just take my little straightening tool out here and here we are. Make sure Mr. Red here is all flattened out. He is going into my portfolio of pictures to do. There we go. One more time, we'll take a look at these drills. The canvas code is on the drills themselves. The DMC codes are not, but that's okay. As long as the canvas code is there, that's the main thing. And the, the DMC is listed on the on the canvas itself, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, friends, that's number three. Our last one for this particular haul is also in that plastic that I have to cut. I hope you've had fun watching this haul, these videos for this haul. I hope you've had as much fun as I have showing it to you. This one is my favorite. When I saw this one, I just about flipped my lid. This is 16 colors. It is a 30 by 30. These are all full round drills. And this also comes with your standard toolkit. There you go. We'll set that aside. Let's take a quick peek at these drills. It's got the canvas coat on it as well. Look at that beautiful turquoise there and that brown. Don't they go gorgeous together? I love the mixture of the colors of the browns and the creams and the, the reds. And of course the beautiful bright turquoise colors. And then look at the yellows and the oranges. That rust color. Beautiful. It's going to be really pretty. I can't wait to show you this one. Alright friends, this spoke to my countryside. It's got everything. It's got the country cowboy boots. It's got the sunflowers. It's got the stained glass. It is every single thing. So I had to have it when I saw it. And we'll go ahead and pull that back. Relax it a little bit. Oh, that stick is good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and push this paper back onto the canvas. Just the fact, just the sheer action of pulling that cellophane back from the canvas, it actually does a world of good to help relax that canvas. By me using the trowel on it. I'm just simply making sure that there's little to no air bubbles in there. Because just by lifting that cellophane back, you're already doing your canvas a favor by allowing it to relax and flatten out. So it'll be easier for your canvas to flatten out. This does help though to, to take out any wrinkles in the cellophane or any air bubbles that you might have. There we go. A legend on the upper left and lower right. Let's bring you down and show you that drill field. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, friends. Look at that. That screams country. Oh, I love these colors. I love here around the edges where that blue is. There's the light blue, and then there's that little line of darker blue around it. And then you get that black line to indicate the, the iron portion of the glass. I love that effect. Let's go ahead and bring it in. Take a look 
at that drill field. There we go. Sorry about that. Isn't that drill field beautiful? Really nice and clear. I'm really super impressed. I'm, I've been impressed with all of these pictures, this stained class series that I have. And I've got quite a few of them, and I'm getting more, as a matter of fact. I've got a couple more orders at least. Two more orders, maybe even three. I don't, I lose count. But when I see these darn stained glass paintings, I have to have them. I hope you don't get bored by me showing them and working on them all the time, but you know, some people like to do dragons, some people like to do wolves, some people like to do, you know, the uh, gorgeous girls. Me, I like, I like cardinals and I like stained glass and I like sunflowers and those are my jams. And roses, I love to do roses. So that is that. That flattened out really nice. That's going to be a pleasure to work on. And one more time, we'll get to see these colors. We'll start on this side with the beautiful oranges, buttery yellows. Looks like corn on the cob. I love that orange as well, that orangey yellow. Then we'll move on. We'll see some turquoise in there, beautiful turquoise. And then the earthy tones with the reds and the, the browns and the cream colors. Really nice. So friends, that is my last painting for this particular haul. So we have the cowboy boots, the country scene with the sunflowers. We also have the cardinal, that beautiful stained glass cardinal. And then we have our stained glass roses and we're going to round off this haul this time with our friends the udders otters also known as the udders a wink and a nod to my beautiful mother-in-law may she rest in peace so friends, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me while I showed you these paintings. And again, uh, please take care of yourselves, watch out for your friends, family, and be the voice for all those animals uh, that don't have a voice. If you are a current subscriber, I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that bell notification so you're notified each and every time that I post a video. And please go ahead and please hit that thumbs up button, that like button. I'm a small fish in a very large crafty pond, but even the likes really help my channel out a lot. And leave a comment, say hello, and I will say hello back. Until we see each other again, my friend, for another haul or another whip and chat, I want to say thanks again from the bottom of my heart. Please take care. Goodbye now.